A tanker truck crash and fire takes down a section of one of the Bay Area's most heavily traveled interchanges. The collapse captured on home video that you'll see only on ABC7. The collapse of the MacArthur Maze in Oakland is the biggest disruption to Bay Area traffic since the Loma Prieta earthquake in 1989. Early this morning, a tanker truck lost control, flipped and exploded. The massive fire that followed brought down a 200-foot section of Interstate 580. We have team coverage for you tonight. ABC7's Alan Wong has been working this story since early this morning. He's live at the MacArthur Maze in Oakland for us. Alan. Carolyn, this is Emeryville near Ikea, an area called the Maze, where Five major thoroughfares converge. Thousands of commuters pass through here every day, many of them on their way to the Bay Bridge. And what has always been a hair-pulling commute is about to get worse. An amateur photographer captured the birth of the Bay Area's future traffic woes. When the tanker truck crashed on southbound I-880, more than 7,000 gallons of gasoline burst into flames and fueled a torch that began roasting the connector overhead. I got a call for, for me to get out of the building. When Isaac Rodriguez ran out of the sewage treatment plant where he works, he looked up and saw the truck driver. I think he was in shock, though, and freeway. He, he just didn't know what to do. It looked at one point he was going to go back to the truck. And I told him, get, get out of there. Our initial investigation leads us to believe that he was traveling at an unsafe speed. Uh, he struck the right guardrail, lost control, and overturned. Caltrans engineers say the temperatures probably reached 2,000 degrees before the support beam began melting. I said, hey, I got my um, video camera in the car. Isaac's partner, Daryl Wells, shot this footage and captured the eastbound I-580 deck collapsing onto southbound I-880. Oh, well, it was scary. I mean, uh, it was scary because you know that it's metal and cement, and it was it, it, it looked like a, a I don't know, like plastic. The truck driver ran down the ramp with second-degree burns to his arms, neck, and face. I guess went to a gas station, called a taxi, and went to the hospital. But in the whole scheme of things, we're very lucky that no one lost a life in this particular incident because with this tanker truck during normal driving hours, this could have been a lot worse. After the flames were doused, a 200-foot section of the 580 connector to the Bay Bridge lay flopped over southbound 880. Underneath the giant slab of concrete, the remains of a tanker truck, a commuter nightmare expected to inconvenience the Bay Area for weeks to come. And we're told the truck driver's name is 51-year-old James Mosqueda from Woodland. We'll have more on him later in the newscast. I'm Alan Wong reporting live in Emeryville, ABC 7 News.